Stagnant. That is the word plaguing my noveling right now. The writing felt stale. I did what I was good at, but it felt normal, like being trapped in the comfort zone. So today our brave hero, that's me, has decided to try something different. To embark on a brave new journey to write the one thing that I have never been able to write well. Romance. It would be scary. The words would be both cringy and terrible, the patients knew. As she melodramatically stepped out of the castle of what I know, she realized that it would be better to be a terrified, better writer than a bored, normal one. But the journey was fierce. To do it all, she would have to return to the land of her youth, Wattpad, a beloved site with an unfortunate reputation for really, really bad stories, including a buried fanfiction patients once wrote as an unfortunate adolescent. But would it be worth it? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Let's see. And then, after all that melodrama, I realized that I was tired and I wanted to go to bed, so I waited another day. It's January 20th. So January 19th that I dramatically typed on the screen, that wasn't when we're starting at all. We start now. January 20th, a whole day afterwards. So let's try this again. Let's dramatically kick things off the right way this time. My reasoning with this is that there is so much bad stuff on Wattpad already that like if I write the cringiest, worst, horrible, trash piece of writing ever, at least it can't get any worse. So I'm still really nervous, so let's go. So I'm here and like, apparently it won't let me log into my old account unless I reset my password. But the email I used was fake. And you said, why on earth would you use a fake email? What on earth could they possibly want from you, patients? Well, when I was younger, I was extremely paranoid about these things. I was like, no one will ever get my email. Nobody knows, nobody will have my email. It is mine and mine alone. So I would use these fake emails, but like, why? Why did I do that? Now I can't get into my account. My Ninjago fanfic, my brilliant Ninjago fanfic with my overpowered OC is lost to the world. I just went and checked. It's not, it's not lost to the world. It's still there. It's still there. It's still in circulation, still in existence. And worse, I can't even like go back and like delete it or fix it. What username do I choose to slip incognito into the waters of Wattpad? So I looked it up because I'm original and I got some interesting suggestions here. So right now, I'm currently torn between these randomly generated Sky Thrill or Diva Snow. Because they both just, I don't know, they just both sounded really funny. I think I might end up going up with Diva Snow. Because, <laughs> because why would I not? Why would I not? That's okay. Just so you all know, we have upped the drama. It is now Diva Snow Chickadee. Do you have any special ideas that we can add to this username to make it any more ridiculous than it already is? Please send them in the comments. So as you can see here, Wattpad just automatically made it Patience Parrot and showed my, um, face. Um, I probably don't want to do that just yet. Probably not yet. Besides, this is Snow Chickadee. Diva Snow Chickadee. Sorry, we want a cool thing. Take a peek at this majestic specimen. This is a wonderful stock photo that I found online, and it should work for the base for our masterpiece. Hmm, uh-huh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is the Chickadee. Oh man, look at that. Okay, so we have like we have some sunglasses because he's cool. A little smile just for fun. And we have some hoodie magic over here. Fantastic. Yes. I could not be more proud of this. This is great. This is fantastic. Now all that remains is to choose a name. Here. Chicka D. Like real talk here, and I switched it back to the thing because this is kind of personal. And I didn't want like you guys to be staring at Chicka D the whole time while I was talking about this. But like, I don't know. Like I look at that and it makes me laugh. But like once I, I don't know. Have you ever been told that your sense of humor is trash long enough for you to actually believe it? Like, I know if I see this, someone's gonna be like, ugh, my brother's gonna be like rolling his eyes in the corner. And like, I don't know, that kind of hurts, you know? Like, I kind of want to, I feel like doing this, I'm like reclaiming my sense of self by doing what's funny for me. But what if it's not funny in a couple of years? What if I look back on it and I have that same cringe reaction that he does? And that honestly scares me a bit because like, why am I afraid to do what I'm enjoying and things that would be funny to me just because of what someone else thinks? But at the same time, like, no matter how much I might regret it 10 years down the road, I will enjoy myself in the moment. And older patients, I hope you're proud of me, and if not, too bad. There is nobody who is going to strip me of my joy in life, of my funny things, of things that make me laugh. Oh yeah, look at that masterpiece. This makes me smile. Does this make you smile? Oh yeah. 
Oh man, I am not regretting this already. This is fantastic. We are going to have so much fun. Hey, I know this is a little out of place. It's always out of place. Sorry to pause your video, but if you have a moment, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, now for the actual story part. So I guess we have to do like some planning, I guess. And I'm, I'm not usually a planner at all. I am heavily a pantser. I just sit down and I do my writing thing. I'll have like a general plot in mind, like a general plot in the vicinity, but like, I mean, you, the plot does what it wants, right? But for a romance novel, I guess that's a little different, if that makes sense. I've looked up quite a few outlines for romance novels and I'm gonna try some, so. Okay, so I know myself and I am a total sucker for hero and villain relationships. That is, I, I don't know why, but that is a thing that I am like absolutely a sucker for. So we're gonna write one of those. That's the plan, guys. <laughs> no, I don't have much more than that. Um, I'm pretty sure I want the villain to lose her memory, maybe? Maybe? Maybe we could have like a clockwork orange thing going on where they like erase her memory. Not kill her, but like to make her pretty much harmless. But like it would be a full memory erase, so I guess it's not really like that. Yeah, I- that- that's all I got, guys. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't do this planning thing. Maybe it's not gonna turn out so great. Maybe it's better if I just like stick to just like doing whatever pops into my head. Yeah, mmm. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so we're picking a title the way all good titles are picked. Random generator! Probably not. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so we're on our own. The generators have betrayed us. Maybe I'm just being picky, like who knows, but I'm probably not gonna go with rules and roses here. <laughs> just, no. Okay, big moment here. The very first chapter. In the very first words of my trashy romance book. Oh man, I can't believe it. This is gonna be so weird. Oh well, taking risks, taking risks, that's what it's about. Let's take some risks. I'll never get any better if I don't take them. 